censored. TV isn't the place for me so give me a couple of minutes to vent. Did you know the top 3 UK news companies dominate 71%? <laughs> At the present, half the radio stations are run by one man. That's over 50% so they augment our perception, they censor the content to prevent any dissent. More wars about to happen as they manufacture your consent. They make us unite behind flags, ours being the Union Jack. A trillion dollars and counting have been used on the war in Iraq. Only half that money could solve world hunger and ease our conscience back. Depleted uranium, white phosphorus have been dropped in the attacks. A once known cradle of civilization has now become an artifact. Minerals from Congo and opium from Afghanistan, oil from Iraq, debt in Africa and instability in Sudan, military bases around China so what's the next part of your plan? Battles are fought by the poor for the rich overseas. Scahill calls them dirty wars with robberies, drones and mercenaries. In a democracy, why is being skeptical of government seen as a disease? We're spreading peace, they tell us. At least come up with something more clever. How can you have a war on terror when war only creates more terror? It's okay to speak out is what they tell me and you. What about Snowden, Webb and Manning to name but a few to show that the freedom of speech isn't really technically true. A society where the poor gets harassed for their tax and the rich manage to squirm through the cracks. The paradise papers show the rich have their own rules while the poor labour hard to be treated as fools. But remember, we're all equal as long as you were born in a certain family or if you happen to pop out in a certain country, false borders and cultures, constructs of the mind, being led by leaders who just happen to be blind. Balfour, Sykes, Pico and the scramble for Africa, drawing borders, causing wars and then trying to solve it like algebra, showing us graphs of killings per capita when it was you who started it, yes, Europe and America.